It is 6.20 a.m. on Friday morning and I'm about to head off to Singapore. My first ever trip and I'm feeling pretty nervous. I'm hoping that my voice holds up uh, through the whole trip. So, yeah. I think, I think the thing that I'm most excited for and the thing I'm most looking forward to is meeting new people and being able to see Terence's church um, and the leaders there. So, yeah, catch you at the airport soon, I guess. There's my knight in shining armor, my rider on a white horse. It's probably a bit anticlim anticlimactic. It's my friendly Uber driver, his name's Ivan. He does, he does pretty good service. Say hi, Ivan. Hey. He's apparently from Singapore as well. I don't know if you guys knew that. <laughs> what, what should I expect when I get to Singapore? Um, humid weather. Humid weather? Full on singlish. Like these, huh? Oh, okay. Yep. Alright. How do you think they'll go with my Aussie accent? Uh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Alright, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> Alright, I've had my fair share of aircon now at the airport I'm with Terence and Grace. Hey, hi guys. Hey. I'm about to go through some double doors and into the blast of real Singapore air. First reacts here. Oh, that's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah. Alright, 10 laps. 10 laps. Yeah, that's not, that's not happening. It's important to see how Jesus changes everything. And this is why he's so important to everything that we are as Christians. What we believe, what we teach, what we preach to the world, how we rest, how we work, how we play. The gospel confronts idolatry and idleness by giving us a new master, a new assignment, and new rewards to live for. Another beautiful day in Singapore. Look at that. Um, the day started off alright. Uh, my voice is holding up. And uh, yesterday was pretty big and full on. And uh, I got uh, tr leaders training for this morning. Uh, second half of the workshop. And uh, evening service message to uh, this evening. So lots of speaking today. Really looking forward to it. And um, yeah, can't wait to get into it. Okay, for those who have been wondering, 
Uh, this is kind of where the, the church is, St. Margaret's Secondary School. I actually realized that there's a, uh, an error. It's actually St. John's Chapel in St. Margaret's, not St. John's St. Margaret's. There is actually a church, another church, by the name of St. John's St. Margaret's. How confusing is that? So this is what we're doing. We head in. St. John's Chapel. Hello. Hello. And this is the chapel itself as you walk in. Oh, that's Steph messaging me. This is where it's been happening, folks. Okay, here back at St. John's Chapel uh, for Saturday. And uh, I'm doing the second half of the work workshop uh, today. Um, it's, let me show you around this hall. It is massive, uh, this hall that we're in. It's big. Uh, last night we probably had about 60 people, some latecomers come in. Uh, and I'm hoping that um, we'll have quite a few more people in this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to take you over to the bookstore where Terence and Grace are doing a fantastic job of uh, curating the books and selling them off. So let's have a look. Lots of good Bibles here. This is a fantastic book on the parables. The best book on guidance. Steve Nation, I haven't heard of him. Actually, no, he was my pastor. There you go. <laughs> Serving Without Thinking, fantastic book. Great book, Man Sharpens Iron on Discipleship. Some fantastic books here. Good work, Grace. Thumbs up. <laughs> Glorifying God in work from choosing a job, balancing life, family life, church, and work, dealing with tough work situations through to unemployment and retirement. All these times are affected by our new master our new assignment and the new rewards that are to come. This is what God is like. He celebrates wildly when one sinner turns back, when one lost son and daughter repents and returns home. His joy and celebrations could be considered reckless and yet this is what God's joy is like. If you were looking for a way to describe joy, God's joy, the word reckless would not be up on that list. And yet, this is exactly what these parables are teaching us. That God's joy is indeed reckless. It breaks convention. It surprises us with its generosity. It floors us with how much is poured out. You have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they find their rest in you. The desire in our hearts for home makes us all restless. And our hearts are restlessly searching for home until they find their rest in Jesus. Alrighty, uh, I finished preaching at St. John's Chapel. Uh, the sermon went okay, right Grace? Terrence? Yeah. Yeah. It went okay. <laughs> We're gonna uh, go grab some quick lunch. Um, we're gonna take go back to Terence's place and hopefully take a nap. And then I'm looking forward to catching up with the SLEs. Uh, and so we'll see you there. No, no, it's not about your bad drug habits, bro. It's the angstiness. <laughs> uh, am I do, I, uh, do I drive like this? With Broad Ridge? No, the thing is, you are, you are a backseat road major. <laughs> That's the thing. Joe is a backseat road major. <laughs> I don't remember this. It's for you, just for the, vi the for people vi listening on the video. Oh. Uh, I'm in the car with Keenan, Sarah's driving, and there's June and Joe. Yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Do I really look? Uh, okay. A lot? A little bit. Straight all the way up. A, a lot? A lot like Kim Jong Un. Yes, you do. It's like music. It's the hair. It's the hair. Yeah. The chubby. The chubby. Keep left. Thank you for coming and sharing this dinner with us. I think it means a lot to us. Uh, 
you guys enjoy yourselves. This is the first time that we've been here. But, uh, so, uh, uh, Sarah's sister recommends this, and Sarah's sister is quite a good stuff. <laughs> Okay, we're on our way to go see uh, Stephen and Maggie Teo uh, today and catch up with them and uh, hear from them and uh, hopefully get some encouragement uh, for all that they've been going through at the moment. This place is huge. We're at South Beach. Oh, there they are. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Yeah. Hang on, this is the uh, the oh. food that we're having. Black white hair looks all right. <laughs> and I wanted to record it as well, partly to um, show you the, some of the SLEs and just to see how you are. And I'm sure they would love to see you and hear from you personally and, and hear how you're going. Um, you know, when we hit, when we heard the news. Uh, a whole bunch of us were just hit for six, and it um, it really uh, affected us profoundly. So um, there's a lot of love uh, and a lot of prayers coming your way uh, for you, the family, for Simon, and for the whole family. Yeah. You were with us a couple of years, uh, active members. Uh, what what are some of your fondest memories of of Esselie Church? Church camp is one of them. Church camp was it? Yeah. Uh, I think the topic, uh, Heaven Matters, mm. seems very appropriate yeah. now. Uh, now that we face a uh, question of uh, you know, Heaven coming nearer, mm. uh, I think I remember Pastor Danish talks about the groans, mm. uh, uh, three groans uh, you know, in that Roman uh, 8 passage. Yeah. Uh, of course, creation groans, yep. yeah, and then believers groans, yep. and then of course uh, the Holy Spirit groans with us. Yep. You know, in, uh, in words that uh, inaudible. Yeah. Uh, so I think the comfort is the Holy Spirit is groaning with us. Yeah. When did you feel like you noticed something was wrong? Actually, up to now, I don't have anything okay. related to the lungs yep. uh, in terms of symptoms. Yep. It was because um, the early July, a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't say it's dizziness but it's more like not feeling normal mm. and uh, I went to see a GP because it has been on for like 24 hours mm. and the GP suspected stroke because I had high blood pressure mm. so I went for the just giddy uh, only what giddy yeah, yeah, yeah. A &E, uh, Changi hospital yep. for a thorough checkup yep. and after about uh, maybe about 30 hours they cleared me after the all the checks and chest x-ray and CT scan yep. And MRI scan, they say definitely you don't have stroke. Okay. But they say, by the way, we spotted a little uh, tumor on your right lung. The tumor, white spot. White spot, yeah. White I mean, uh, X-rays are uh, orange, black, and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a white spot. White spot. Yeah. But it's not big, it's like okay. 3 centimeter by 2.6. It's not small. <laughs> so they say we need to investigate what's, yeah, yeah. what's in your lung. Yeah. That's where they put me through the another CT scan. Yep. And lo and behold, the results come out not too promising. Yep. Uh, but, the, but the respiratory uh, doctor says we need to confirm that with biopsy. Mm. Which we did. Uh, so when the results came out, it's, it's, you, have, you have advanced mm. uh, lung cancer. Uh, they call it the non-smoker type. Mm. Uh, and it is extensive, both yeah. lungs, oh, wow. plus limb nodes as well. Okay. And I said I don't have any symptoms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up to today. Up to even today, you don't feel, you don't feel it. No pain in the chest, yeah. no breathlessness, yeah. no coughing. Yeah. When you speak so, of so groans, you're not even groaning. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The news is groaning. The yeah, yeah. yeah. The emotion is groaning for yeah. sure. Yeah. How did you take it? Oh, it's like, it's the like, moment when they told us, we are like, um, are like, are you talking to us? Are you in the right room? Is it the right report? It's like, couldn't be, right? It's too, 
uh, complete shock. Uh, I mean, we were on a seven week holiday, he was just cycling 20 over kilometers. Mm. But, but it was strange. And we began to sink in, was, and then we kind of uh, stopped. So yeah. we held each other's hand. I think the first thing we did was thank God. Mm. We gave thanks. I think the word of God just gripped us first. I think mm. that was so helpful. I mean, kind of like, gripped us before the, the, the reality of the illness, which we know is going to be another issue. Mm. So then gripped us the first came in. Uh, like, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, giving thanks to God in all circumstances, for this is the will of God, Christ Jesus. It came in. So we say, oh Lord, it's your will that we give thanks. So after that, then we deal with Yeah. And then we start to I look at the child, I look at the statistic, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then we realized God is the chief statistician. He has already numbered our days. Mm. We are in the book of life. So, okay, go now, glory later. Comforting each other with the word of God. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, so we were just, we went on holiday. We just went to Penang with a friend, did what mm. we do. And people were asking, are you sure you're, are you sure you're okay? Are you suppressing? I don't know, we... <laughs> well, I don't think we are able to suppress. I don't think we suppress. I, I cried, we cried. We cried yeah. a bit, yeah. yeah. Yes. I think the peace of God just... Yeah, uh, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Those, those few, uh, at least for the first few weeks. Yeah. This yeah. is this is probably coming up to a month. Yeah. yeah. Well, officially 16th of, of, of July, we had the official result, but we kind of knew about it before yeah. that already. But, um, so here we are. Yeah. <laughs> we still, still trusting God we still day by day. Go for a lot of appointments, go for BSF, go for Bible study, like life yeah. is normal. Yeah. Except there's this thing hanging inside here. Yeah. So we pray that we pray for healing, yeah. Lord. Be merciful, shrink it, give us more time. Uh, we you know use our day to glorify you. And so for the things easier, yeah. like, struggle less, uh, we focus on. The focus is into eternity mm. rather than looking at uh, and I'm not that young, you know, it's like I'm not 26, I'm 62. Mm. So still very thankful to the many things that uh, God has uh, given me. Mm. Uh, so uh, grateful that I'm redeemed uh, by His blood. So mm. that's really the best gift. Mm. So whatever that uh, you know, I, I uh, have, I should be thanking rather than say I want to have more, more years here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and knowing that God actually ordained each of us for a fixed time, mm. just that we don't know when is the last day. Right? But I have uh, what I, uh, but I tell my wife an alarm clock that is ringing. Yeah. But I managed now to reset and it's probably on snooze mode for a while. <laughs> I still don't know when it's my last day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The bell ring. But I know my, my last day is probably a, a, a lot uh, uh, earlier than people of my uh, so-called average uh, statistician will say the mortality rate and all that. So it's fine, yeah. So, <laughs> so when you look at uh, things in perspective of eternity, yeah. it's very good actually. Yeah. And the lot of friends calling out to us, the prayer, I think the prayer really, really Sustain we could well. feel the effect of the prayer that is, we are weak in the flesh, but the Spirit of God hearing all the prayer, sustaining us with you. So prayer, the word of God, the faith of God. And we are thankful that we have so many beautiful friends in our lives. So, so that really, really helped us a lot. Is there anything that you're afraid of? Afraid of? Uh... Well, uh, it's uncertain. How would the uh, disease progress? Mm -hmm. Because we've heard of cases where it spreads over the other <coughs> organs. Mm -hmm. Right now, I don't know which other organ is affected. Next Monday, uh, we'll but we'll but we try not to think of that. We, we kind of deal, think we can deal with it. Mm -hmm. Like what Paul says, you know, his grace will be sufficient. So if we start thinking uh, ahead, there are many. <laughs> permutations of what kind of scenario you end up with. So, sort of uh, cast your worries uh, onto Christ. Uh, I mean, on the day that you have to face challenges, uh, uh, I'm sure he'll give you strength to overcome it. Yeah. But pain, think of, pain. Yeah. think of what is uh, like 
the message in the church camp. Pain now, glory later. Grow now. <laughs> grow now. now. Pain now, grow. We wrote back to British. Yeah. Grow now, glory later. And I think <laughs> Paul assured uh, uh, his uh, readers that he is convinced that the uh, present suffering is not worth the future glory, which is yet to be revealed to us. So I think that rings clear because in our human uh, mind, we don't really know what is the glory. And that's still not yet to be revealed to us. So I think there's plenty to look forward to. <laughs> but we are so thankful to SLE. Yeah. I think the two years in SLE, I think, help us a lot. Yeah. I believe Trust. we saw godly people, how to, you know, even we don't know Johnson, mm. we heard about how he dealt with it, we read through his testimony, yeah. how Anna, and, and all this does help us a lot mm. to say that hey, you know, people who have gone before us, we've been faithful. And the world of God so deeply preached the last two years, expository. Um, what are you looking forward to? Look, well, we can. Uh... I do look forward to healing if possible from the Lord so I can spend a lot more time with Him. I really enjoy Him every day. And I look forward to. To, to glorify God in whichever way we can. God use us because there must be a purpose. But give us strength. That's I'm so free to grandchild. Yeah, grandchild. But we can see our grandchildren. We say we don't want to add pressure. We don't add pressure, but they want to have kids. Yeah. So yeah, we do look forward to that. Yeah. To travel? How can uh, we be praying for you? Well, a couple of our church people ask how can how can they pray specifically. I strangely I didn't ask for healing, mm. though I know God can heal. So, uh, the example of King Hezekiah is very strange when we, we read it. He yeah. actually didn't ask for 15 years, but God gave him 15 yeah. years. So maybe that's an example to follow. <laughs> Yeah, just reading oh, that's okay. once uh, <coughs> once in uh, how many thousand years yeah, 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 yeah. history. We pray that we will remain steadfast. We know it's incurable. We remain steadfast yeah. Yeah. because we know we are so weak in our flesh and that we know, you know, we're so disappointed at the same time. Just remain faithful yeah. all the remaining years of our life. Yeah. I told him I may go first before him. What makes him think so sure? <laughs> <laughs> like, serious, seriously, what? Well, right? I mean, you know. But you know, remain steadfast in yeah. our faith. So to the camera, um, what uh, final words would you have to SLA this? The outpouring of love and prayers and encouragement, the little note. I'm, I feel so much a part of the whole body of Christ and I'm so thankful and, and sustain us with your we, prayers. We were a bit hesitant to share initially, or at least I, I was, because we didn't want to be burdened by you know, the community. <laughs> So we are very much encouraged by your prayers and your constant uh, communication. I think that that helps uh, keep us going. Mm. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> Excellent. Bye. Well, goodbye. Oh, bye bye. Bye. See you. See you in Brisbane. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, we may go to Brisbane. We're just at the War Memorial playing Pokemon. So we took the gym, we took the gym, but I got a feeling uh, some other guy uh, was here before us or took it, just snuck in and took it from us. And I think it's this guy. Look at all. I see you. Uh, we just took this gym and um, uh, we put our Pokemon in. And the gym is already full. And where is everyone? Bots. I, I only see other one other person. Maybe the dog put his. Maybe the dog put it in. Hey, the dog's playing Pokemon. 
All right. We're about to have lunch now with Keenan and Sarah at this uh, buffet that he's organized. And uh, looking forward to it. Let's see what they have in store for us. Uh, Beach Road Kitchen. Look at his feet. Okay, so we're, we're into the meal, it's, it's delicious, and then we get uh, given a flat white. No, no one's ordered a flat white, but we're going to try it out. Uh, but take a look at how flat this flat white looks. <laughs> it's so sad. Terrence, do the honors. Regrets? Yes. Trippy lifts. Trippy lift. Wow. Wow. I know what you mean by yeah. it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, then, and then the decor on the, on the wall changes according to the color. That's crazy. This is just a lift. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Singapore. <laughs> You, you guys, you guys don't do anything by halves here, do you? <laughs> okay, that was a lift. <laughs> Singapore was an absolute blast. Um, a lot of people have asked uh, what it was like to be in Singapore, uh, what my experience was, what my impressions were, and it was it was always really hard to pin down anything in particular. Uh, and I think I realised why, because it felt like home. The people that I met, the people that I caught up with, they're all familiar faces all familiar people, all familiar friends and in a lot of ways being in Singapore felt like coming home but even though Singapore felt like home I'm actually really glad to be back in Brisbane so welcome to Brisbane Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 